Welcome to the Small Steps Big Wins podcast. I'm dedicated to helping you take control of your life. Together, we'll explore practical tips, expert advice, and inspiring stories to help you overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. Making small changes is possible and can lead to big results. Are you ready? Let's go do this. Hey friends, welcome back to another Wednesday Wisdom. If this is your first time with me, thank you for being here. I am so honored that you decided to spend your next couple of minutes with me. And if you have been here and listened before, thank you for coming back to listen again. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And today's Wednesday Wisdom is focusing on the beautiful things in life and what that looks like. And it's really strange, first of all, the word beautiful, because in the English language, beautiful can mean a number of things. You can refer to a beautiful woman, you could refer to um, it's a beautiful day, you could refer to, oh, that's a beautiful car, that's a beautiful house. We take this word beautiful and we tack it on to so many things, actually tack it in front of so many things and use it to describe usually something of a physical nature, you know, house, car, uh, kids, dog, uh, you name it, right? So something that's beautiful. But today I want you to consider going uh, a little bit off of the tangible plane. Okay. So what I mean by that, like let's, let's leave the, uh, you know, beautiful house, car, kids, wife, whatever, and go inward and ask yourself the following. What do you see that's beautiful on the inside of you? And then what do you see that's beautiful in the people that are around you? You see, Life doesn't just consist of what we can hold in our hands. Life isn't just about having that gorgeous house. It's not about having that great car. Um, Life, there's so much more to it than that. How many of us have to go to a job that we don't like because we have to pay for a big house that we didn't really want? You know, now if that's your case, I'm not knocking you, but it, it really begs the question, how much do we do in our life that, you know, drives us to do it? But then when we ask ourselves, really, why am I doing this thing? You really don't really want to be doing it in the first place. So let's go back to this idea of beauty. What do you see beautiful inside of you and others? Something that you can't hold or touch. It's not an easy question at first, is it? Because we don't ask ourselves to go inside and find something that's beautiful, okay, that is not tangible. So you're probably wondering, okay, Sue, I'm having a tough time coming up with it. How about you? You have to come up with this too, because you're asking this question and, and yes, I'm going to answer it for you. Um, The things of beauty on the inside that I see. When I look inside myself, you know, I see that my curiosity in life is something beautiful. It's a gift, right? So there's something inside of me. When I look at somebody else, I see the beauty in simplicity. You know, I have a couple friends that have uh, this depth of simplicity to them where they look at life through the eyes of a child, but yet when you start talking to them, they have this depth to them that is just, it's beautiful, you know? It's just simplicity with beauty. So you go inside and you find that thing that is just beautiful to that person. It could be their smile. Now, yes, okay, yeah, that's tangible, right? But let's go a little d- dig a little deeper. What causes that smile? There's something on the inside of them that is radiating something that's positive, that's making them smile on the inside. That's where the beauty is coming from. That's where they are. Like that's where they're at, right? So go and look for the things that are beautiful that you can't touch. What prompted me to talk about this was, um, I was talking to my friend he's and my coach and he was talking about how everybody should see a sunrise and that 
every sunrise, like they never disappoint, right? So if you, you go out and you see a sunrise, regardless whether it's cloudy outside, whether it's sunny outside or whatever, sunrises, they don't disappoint. And in their own right, they're beautiful. But they're not just beautiful because of what you see on the sunrise. To me, the sunrise is beautiful because it gives me another day. It gives me another day to fulfill my purpose. It gives me another day to encourage somebody. It gives me another day to show up at my work. It gives me another day to listen to a friend who needs uh, somebody to listen to them. It gives me another day. You fill in the blank. So a sunrise is beautiful. They don't disappoint, not just because of what you see when you look at them, but because what they give you. If you see that sunrise, you have another day. You have another day to show up. You have another day to improve your life. You have another day to become 1% better than what you were yesterday. So I would encourage you, I would challenge you to go look for the things that are beautiful in what you see around you. Ask yourself why they're beautiful. And then if you can, if you want, set that alarm for tomorrow morning and see a sunrise. And then let yourself imagine that you have this wonderful day in front of you and then go and embrace it. Well, friends, thank you for spending another Wednesday wisdom with me. I so appreciate it. If you got anything out of this, please share it with a friend. Uh, Give me five stars. It only takes a second to hit that on iTunes or whatever it is that you listen to the podcast on. I would greatly appreciate it. So as always, go make today awesome. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Small Steps Big Wins podcast. I value your time with me and I seek to make every moment count. In order to make lasting change in your life, listening is usually not enough. So I want to ask you, what practical steps are you going to put into action today as a result of listening to this podcast? Remember, any step, any action, no matter how small, starts your journey to a big win. And if you're not sure where to get started, check out my website, personalcoachfinder.com and find someone who can help. Remember, life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by choice. Take small steps today and make your life awesome, friends.